does a candidate have to be nominated at a convention to get on the ballot? And, and what does that process look like? So generally, yes, um, you can get on the ballot either, either as the nominee of a party or you can you can run as an independent or you could run as a, a write in candidate, although a write in candidate doesn't appear on the ballot. Um, most candidates are the nominee of a party and typically parties, whether the Republican Party, or the Democratic Party or the Libertarian Party or the Green Party, uh, they usually have conventions and it's a formal process for selecting their nominee. Um, typically, conventions are in person and they're also about uh, deciding the party platform, what does the party believe, and, and you have delegates from all over the country that usually arrive in person uh, to vote for uh, their particular nominee. Now, in most years, uh, the decision about who the nominee is going to be is known before the convention. In most years, you've gone through the primaries and somebody's won, somebody's lost. And, and, and so in this instance, last week was no surprise. Joe Biden was the Democratic nominee. We knew that because we had primaries and caucuses all over the country. Uh, in 2016, at the Republican convention, we had vigorous primaries and, and contests. At the end of the day, Donald Trump beat me. I took second. Uh, and so by the time of the convention, we knew that Trump was going to be the nominee. That's usually the case. Uh, but a handful of times, there have been what are called contested conventions, where it's not clear, nobody has a majority, and those can be battles to see who the nominee will be. We haven't had one of those in, in a long time. 